What is that? Your bare chest in your long sleeve? Nice. You don't. You don't have any chest hair. I'm not. I mean, it, it all went to me bum bum. Mm. A few few hairs, but very. I've got. I was thinking about getting it waxed the other day, but, but I just think if you're going to get it waxed, it's going to come back ten times worse. Yeah, well, that's um. You, Isn't it? You have a hairy butt. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible, man. Ter like it's literally. It just went like God decided. It's just gonna. All my hair is gonna go to me asshole. Yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I get that. Well, I mean, you. Yeah, you should get it waxed. I mean, like, that's. I've seen it. I, there's a shot in the actual uh, in the, in the opening titles actually. Uh, that's that was ten years ago as well. I mean, goodness, it's fucking. It's, <laughs> like, a, it's like a jungle. <laughs> This is why, this is why, you know, and this is not me just saying this to purely spice it up and make something up. This is actually very, very real. And I thought I'd bring this up as the, you know, like, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, you, you know, we're all the same age. I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm 32 right now. I'm going to be 33 in like less than a month. And, and I realized that, um, that uh, when I was like, I have to be quiet because people are outside. But like I was, I, when I was like 22, I, I like I told I I told like my my parents that I was gonna like if I wasn't at a place that I wanted to be when I was thirty two years old I was gonna commit suicide oh and like I, I made it's it very too heavy man I don't want to talk about but, it and, and and like it's just weird because like I'm almost like done with that age and you know and it's 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 a I, I like I really meant it like I was being very methodical about it is that weird that it's like just how old going how old were you, you said? I think I was like 22, 21, 22. I think 22. Oh my God. Isn't that weird? That's heavy, man. That's heavy. Uh, Your parents well, I just are so worried. Yeah, but not as worried as you think. No, I'm <laughs> but, uh, I, but like that's, I, I just like, I don't, I just don't, I just, I don't know, man. I, I don't think, I don't, I just don't think I'm going to like. What? I just don't think I'm gonna like, I, I can't see myself getting into my like 40s and 50s and 60s. I just can't see it. What are you talking about? Like maybe, I think maybe into the 40s a little bit, but like getting into like 50s, 60s, I just can't see that happening. Are you, talking, are you saying you want to kill yourself? <laughs> no, well, here's no, one thing. Yeah. I'm just saying like, I just don't, I can't like, I think 30s I'll be fine. What do you mean would be fine? I think, and I, think, all the time. Chris, I, think I think in the early 40s I'll be okay but then I think once I get to a certain age and then past that into like 50s like I just don't I just don't think I'm gonna make it like like mentally I, I just don't think I'm gonna make it like I, I think mental illness uh in 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 my family and I think it's sort of all kind of um pile because like there's no one in my family quite like me which is a you know it's like almost like i'm like a black sheep in my family you know it's it's kind of like um all this like uh all these like mental illnesses kind of like all came together and kind of lodged inside my brain because there's like a little bit here in this family member there's a little bit there you know but let me ask you something chris how old are you when your when your brother passed uh 20. How how did you how did did how did you change? You must have. We don't talk about this at all. But like, how did you change when your brother? Dude, I got I got worse. I, I think I, I think I went downhill after that because he I think he, he had a lot of serious problems, and I think I, I I think I know this sounds weird to say, but I sort of feel like I I was on a pretty good path, uh, and then I think when I, I sort of inherited him all of his stuff on you know i sort of inherited all of his stuff i just keep having a slug forward but i think i just it's it's a it's like um uh i don't know i have to get some sort of like diagnosis for like asperger's or something because there, there's something going on there man have you ever seen a therapist 
Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's a, it's a release valve. It's not, I don't think it really changes me very much. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Cause like, you know, no one, no one seems to really take it seriously, but, and I, I just, for some reason, I, but I, I just have to like get up and like get some sort of diagnosis. Cause like, I do a really good job of pretending to, to be okay. But, and yeah, I mean, I just don't, I just don't know how I'm going to be able to like survive like, uh, like mentally and emotionally. And it's not a pity party. I'm just like, I'm using this as like a therapy session. No, no, it's, and you know, I'm, I'm always here for you for that. I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, I hear this stuff and I want to help you. That's my instinct. Part of me feels like, well, I'm the victim. I'm the victim. I'm the victim. That's, that's the per uh, perception you have. And I fall into that as well. You know, like in the industry that we're in, I'm always like, fuck, like, like I've, I've been working my whole life as an actor since I was 16. I finally do a play last year and everything changes. It's, it wins all these theater awards here and then COVID happens and then it's all gone. Like, it's like all the momentum that I, I've never had in my life is just gone. And every now and then I'm like, well, yep, yeah, I'm the victim. Like, great. My sort of survival instinct is like, fuck that. Like, no one's no one's crying for me like i just have to like sh shrug it off every there's so many people who are dealing with worse shit in the world in fact i'm actually blessed and privileged in a in a way and it, it's so easy i think in our with the rejection filled industry that we're in to to play it to play that card <clears throat> and it feels good actually to play it sometimes but like i just know that I won't survive if I do it. I just, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I can't, I can't like take care of myself. That's, that's the problem. I can't like, um, and that's why I think I'm going to have a tough time. You can though, Chris, you can take care of yourself. You just, well, I, I don't know what to say, mate, because this conversation comes up a lot. Like, well, it's like, you know, I mean, I, I, at the same time, man, like, I don't really... Um... All, I hear every, all I ever hear from you when you speak is problems, mate. Problems, 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 problems. Problems are a part of life, mate. It's what you do with them. That's just, you can still be really fucking happy with problems. That's just part of life. Everyone's got fucking problems. And a lot bigger problems than the three of us. And yet they're the happiest, you know, they find contentment in their lives. I want to help you, but you don't listen. You know, you just I do listen, man, but it's like, you know... I don't you know, Chris, because if you would listen, mate, you wouldn't be where you are right now. You have to listen, mate. I promise you. I've been there, mate. I've been there. I don't... I, mate, I want to cuddle you and be there for you, but I can't. I don't know what... I don't know what me and Matt's... I don't know. I want to give you everything I could to help you, mate, but it's, it's like watching someone drowned and not being able to help them. Like, I, I, you've got to help yourself, Chris. You've got to, mate. Yeah, but like, I, I, just because you, know, you haven't I got mean, what you want right now, right? Just because you're living at your mum's and your dad's and you haven't got the career the way you want it, you can still find contentment within yourself right now. I don't, you can, mate. You just, you, you're upsetting me, mate. You really upset yeah, but the, me. The thing is, like, man, like, what, what, you know, it's like at then, the same time. You, know, what you do. You go straight to the negative. You go, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, there's always buts, mate. Life is challenging, Chris. It ain't about the destination, it's about right now. You're a long time dead, mate. It's about this life you've got right now, making the most of it. I mean, and I have, um, and I do have sympathy for you, uh, Chris. I have sympathy for myself for the same reasons. But if I, if I thought about them constantly, I just wouldn't survive. Exactly. Exactly. Maz has hit the nail on the head. If he thought about it all the time, he'd probably feel the same as you. I, I do, I have to think about this shit, man, because I'm a fucking writer, dude. I mean, like, all writers are fucked up in the head, man. I have to think about this stuff. I can't just live a happy life, you know? I mean, then I have nothing to fucking work on. That, that's the, that's the double-edged sword, man. That's what you don't understand. I, I do, and I don't buy into that narrative that you have to be a miserable depressant in order to write good stuff. And it's not, know. it's not, it's not like I'm going out of my way to do that. That's just how it is. That's just who I am. I also find life to be, and this maybe I've just done this to, to embrace the world I, I'm in, but I find all the ups and downs, 
I now am in a place where I find it exciting. I don't yeah. want to be comfortable. Yeah. Actually, like I, I, I want to go on a roller coaster. If I'm tested, if something's really oh, nervous, that's, that's, that's a beautiful place to be, man. Uh, yeah, like, dude, I mean, you gotta, you gotta understand, man. Like, I mean, I, like, I mean, I was like literally living with like in communal housing ever since that Jersey City apartment that we all had. I never left that kind of housing. Living with fucking like seven people sharing a bathroom, like fucking, like basically living in poverty. For, no, you wasn't. You wasn't living in. That's dude, not poverty, mate. That are you fucking poverty. kidding me? That that West Adams house. That was situation. absolute poverty. There's loads of. That's not. You've got, that's not poverty, Chris. You've got a roof over your head. Mil, millions of people live like that, Chris. Where they. I'm not comparing them. myself. To that. I'm not in competition with those kind of people. I'm not saying. It's I'm a not, whole different subculture. Your situation is as bad as you think, mate. It's what you make of it. Isn't it? You can, you can, uh, can't, I don't know what to say to you, mate. No, no, no. I think, I think you're actually right. I think you're onto something, Tobias. Like, I would say that 90% of people your age are living like you. Yes. Yeah. If, if they haven't come from, if they haven't come from money, 100%. And who wants to be that person that fucking, you know, mummy and daddy buy them a house? Do you know what I mean? Like, no offense to those people, man. Good for them. They was born into that. But like, I think the, 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 the fulfillment you feel from doing it on your own, man. I just, I just don't, I, I don't know. I, I, I have a, I mean, I, I think, I, I think I just have a tough time like existing on this earth and, and the way the world's going, it, it you know, yeah. I, I don't, uh, doesn't help. Tobias and I are not going to, you know, solve it for you. It's gotta, it's gotta be you. You're doing what you need to be doing. All I can focus on right now is getting a movie made. That's literally the only thing I can focus on. I can't focus on getting a gym membership. I can't focus on, you know, getting some full-time career. All I can do right now is just get a single movie made. That is the next step for me. There's no other next step. I, I think it's good that you have that focus. I'm also going to tell you something, Chris. You are, I want to say this, you are lucky compared to a ton of directors who don't have, who don't have shit. Like I, I mean, I, you've made a movie with 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 actors we've seen on the wire. Like, but the That's thing is, Mazin, like, it no, no, cost no, no, me, no, 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 cost no, no, me every penny no, I had, and it shouldn't no, be like that. No, 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 no. That was me, like, buying my way into the business. You gotta listen to this, man. Honestly, you have really, you have you have a manager at three, one of the three biggest agencies in LA. You've made you've made an amazing movie that are that you made almost on your own. You made Monster Party with the help of great producers, one of which, you know, produced La La Land. Like, this yeah. is the struggle. This is what it is. This is what our industry is. And you, and you will find more opportunities. But again, it's, again, it's the fuck, fuck, woe is me thing, which I've been through. I go through all the time. I feel like, man, I did this thing with, with Drake and the Junos. We, were, we did the best award show ever that we did here. We did a, a six... Uh, episode series called We Are Disorderly, where we spent $100,000 on six episodes that went nowhere. You know, nobody wants to pick the show up. I did a show in Toronto that I was the lead of that only got picked up a season. There's so many things that I, I played the victim with, with, of in my own head, but I'm actually so fucking lucky to have, to have actually had these opportunities. Tobias is like begging for, like he would love to have an opportunity, like a slim man. Listen, I'm, thir I'm 33, Maz and Chris, and I'm starting all over again, and I'm loving it. Do you know what I mean? I'm starting from the bottom, mate. I've got nothing, like in terms of the career, in terms of uh, acting, what we're talking about, but uh, this, it's brilliant. Like there are no rules. You could be successful at any, uh, any time. There are no rules. I love it that 33, that I get to, find you know that you know rediscover myself and go yes it is acting and go back into it it's brilliant and I you, should be, you should be so you're no i mean you're all so right I, mean, I totally understand i mean you should be so excited right this yeah. this moment this is like maybe the most exciting time in our lives listen man you've got you've got you've got you've got you've got two people that really care about you some people haven't got that chris yeah how many people can say i've got two like friends who don't even live near me that, that like really genuinely care do you know what i mean you've got to look in the, in the smallest possible way in the smallest possible way you've got to look for uh, gratitude but at the moment now you're living with no gratitude 
whatsoever. Everything's against you. Everything's a victim mentality. Uh, life owes us nothing. Life owes us fuck all, mate. Do you know what I mean? And it's just, we, we live in this like societal narrative, all of us do, that this entitlement, that life owes us something and it don't. And no, it's just like, you know what I'm saying, man? Like, when you say stuff like that, that, do you mean that? I'm, do you mean that? Or is that an attention thing? What? Killing yourself. Would you genuinely do it? Because if you're not going to genuinely do it, don't say it, mate. I mean, I, I don't. I mean, I hate to keep playing this card, but I just, I just don't know many guys that are like, you know, my height that are happy people, you know. And I think it's just sort of. Um... Danny DeVito looked like he lived a he lived a pretty fucking goddamn good life. Well, I mean, that's like a one out of a billion, and 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 also, who know? Do you know? Do you think he's actually happy? Do you think like these guys are actually happy? I mean, you don't think Danny DeVito is like kind of fucked up in the head at times? You know, looks at himself and gets really fucking depressed. You know, it's just little things like that. I mean, it's a fucking big thing. It's a big. Is, is, is this the biggest thing? Your height is that the biggest issue? Really? Is that the thing? That Dude, that's all. That's you. that's haunted me ever since uh, grammar school, and it's never gone away ever. And, and I think it's only going to get worse, you know, because I'm going to like, you know, as I start to get into like 40s, 50s, 60s, I mean, like, it's just, I, I, I can't. What is it about the height that makes you feel inferior and not good enough? I, I think I'm just comparing myself to physically comparing myself to everyone around me. And every time I go to any event, there's just, I'm always like the smallest person. The comparison, man, that's such a, that's another thing that we do in society. I, I'm still teaching myself that, man, every single day. If we compare ourselves to everyone else and their life and what they're doing, number one, you just don't know their story. You just don't know the intrinsic story of what's happened in their life. So that's pointless doing that. And number two, there's always someone better in some way, shape or form. That's just life. That's just the human race, Chris. Like there's someone better looking, more intelligent, more money, da 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 da. You know, just life, mate. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's just life, Chris, and you've got to find a way to fucking find happiness with just with what you are and who you are, mate. Because there's always someone in some capacity better in some way. That's just life. Doesn't make them a better human being. Doesn't make them a better human being, Chris. It's just they've been given that card in life. You know, they've been dealt that hand. You've got to learn to love yourself, mate. Yeah. That plain and simple. You ain't never going to be happy, mate. This is going to carry on for the rest of your life. <laughs>